talking players that possibly could be traded, especially this week, being that is Lion Week and it's Trade Week. Trades can happen afterwards, but you know during the draft, trades always do happen. And shout out, yes, the Knicks probably could use a Bronny. That might be a good fit, play his role, definitely. But trade options. One of the names that came up in the conversation, Jimmy Butler. Where do we think Jimmy Butler can end up? Will he actually be traded? Where would be a possible good destination for Jimmy? I heard, speaking of Miles on the screen, Nix is one of the names that I was reading today that came up in conversation that's interested in the Jimmy Butler sweet stakes. I mean, I understand that. I, that would make sense from the standpoint of, you know, Tibbs loves his guys. Like he was bringing back D Rose when he was on one leg and Taj Gibson when he was running the Brooklyn half mile, half marathon. So like, that's definitely a possibility to come to New York. I wouldn't mind it. Like we need guys who have that like win first mentality, but I'd also pass if I'm the Knicks, just because we've seen it. He kind of like cruises through the, the regular season and then turns it on the playoffs. Like that's not going to fly with Tibbs. So, um, but a team that I could see him going to maybe sign and trade with the Clippers, maybe. I mean, PG, there's a lot of smoke about him opting into his player option and then requesting a trade, which I, I'm thinking is a lot more likely to happen than him just opting for free agency because um, for the matching salaries, that would be necessary if he's going to be traded somewhere. But like Jimmy, going to the Clippers, that would give them a little more time, you know, him, Kawhi, maybe that would convince Harden to come back. Although I don't know if I, I'd want to convince Harden to come back, but I mean, I like a, a core of Jimmy and Kawhi. If they can both stay healthy, that's the risk. Like those are two guys who, I mean, for the most part, they do get banged up a little bit. I mean, the older you get, I mean, after 30, you start to, to break down. I, th- I feel like everybody's broken down besides Braun at this point. So there's that. And then maybe a reunion in Philly. Who knows? I mean, that's a possibility. I just don't see them having anything to offer the Heat in a trade. So, but Philly's going to be active in the next couple weeks. That's for sure. I can definitely see Jimmy going back there in regards of. The Clippers aspect, though, if Jimmy is traded over there, I think that's a signal that James Harden doesn't come back because I don't think those two mesh. The way that Jimmy's mindset is, I don't think that meshes with what we've heard about Harden. I'll just put that. The allegedly stuff that we've heard about Harden. I don't know the man. Never met the man. If you want to hop on the show, we'll gladly have you on. But I don't think Jimmy's personality, which is acquired taste by most, would work with James Harden, who kind of has the laissez-faire, I want to have fun mentality. 